Right, so the plan is to hook up new component minus the sound. I'm gonna hook the new Pi up to the new screen to see if it works. So we'll remove the uh, SD card and put it into the new Pi. It should boot up the old SD card. Right, that power supply's bollocks. Oh. Let's try this. Okay, that's the Pi booting up. Now, the only thing is, I programmed the Pi to not bring up any of the boot information. I need to do some work, get into this device. I messed up big time here. I'm an idiot! I hashed out the wrong line of code and inserted a new line which conflicted with another line already in the code. The Pi didn't boot up at this point and would not receive uh, an IP address from the router so I couldn't even get to it remotely. This presented a problem because I was accessing the Pi remotely so I had to actually take the SD card out of the Pi, put it into my computer and browse the files manually to correct the issue. All I'm doing in here is enabling the splash screen again and forcing the HDMI output for the new screen. Fingers crossed that this works. Yes, come on. A great success. Nice, I turned the, the black screen off so that we could see the boot config. Obviously this is upside down, I need to get a longer power lead. Um, actually, I need to power it from the Pi, but um, we should, the fact that we're seeing um, command line text is great. So, so this is working. Uh, so we can move on and, and set this up properly.